Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the PC Elitists. My name is Woodsy. My name is Shepard. And today we're talking about games we wish not that they would make a sequel of, but they would just remake again. Remake them. We're gonna gonna take it back a little bit right. for the younger kids. And I'm going to rely more on Woodsy for this, since he is the more historical presence of PC gaming here. Uh, since he started um, gaming on his PC earlier than I did, and he's older than me. Um, so really, it's what game or game series that you enjoyed playing when you were a wee lad, or lass, uh, that you would like to see remade. And so, just as an example, you have Doom, Doom 2, they made a Doom 3. We're not saying, oh, I want them to make a Doom 4. <laughs> we're also not saying, I want them to take the exact step-by-step -step Doom or Doom 2 game and just put it on new hardware and make it all pretty. Because I think a lot of people would say, I don't want to play the exact same game. Some people might want to. Right. But just in general, and you could say that. We're not saying it has to be one or the other. Um, we're just saying, older game, you want to see, see remade. First and foremost, TIE Fighter. <laughs> Few games have ever provided as much fun as that game. And I would love to see it. The beauty of space and spaceships and air combat on modern systems... Yeah, freaking love it. Plus, we've had so many Star Wars games in the last decade that all suck. That all suck. People are they're so hyped, and most of them have been met with severe criticism. It's because they're all based off the new universe. Yes, and that new universe sucks. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's the four, five, and where... six. The only ones I acknowledge exist. <laughs> the universe where Han Solo didn't shoot first. <laughs> Right. That universe is awful. I hate that universe. Chris Greedo. <laughs> um, so certainly X Wing. There was a game. I would take X Wing or mm -hmm. X Wing Alliance. If they took X Wing Alliance and just put it on a new engine, mm -hmm. I think it would be. Oh, I'd play that in a second. Yeah. Well, we're also suckers for Star Wars. Good Star Wars. Right. So no. There's no good Star Wars because that means there's a bad Star Wars, and that acknowledges the existence <laughs> of bad Star Wars. True. So just I'm agnostic to the existence. <laughs> um, other games you would love to see remade? Um, the Thief series, mm -hmm, certainly. And I say that more not for my benefit, but for like Rouse Dower's benefit, because and his brothers, who have mentioned how much I've talked about it. And my name, my handle is Woodsy, or the mm -hmm. Woodsy Lord on most games, you know, obviously. So, but they can't get past the graphics bar barrier. Yeah. Same thing it, with... That's what I was going to say. It kind of begs the question, why do we want it to be remade? Well, just go, you know, go back and play it. Well, that's part of the problem, going back, is it's, it's hard to pick up one of these older titles because we're so used to being at least somewhat immersed by the realism and the, um, how real everything looks and the prettiness of the graphics. It's hard to go back and say... You know, play Goldeneye without saying, "Oh my God, this is bad." Right. Or Red Faction, Red Faction Two. Ugh. I don't. I think it is a little at, at some point too much to ask for somebody like Rousedower. Go play Thief with no nostalgia factor and enjoy it as much as I did. Yeah. You, you can't do it because you can't. It's hard to get immersed in just the terrible graphics, mm -hmm. though they were good at the time. Not anymore. Um, so I think that game should just be remade, just flat out. Um, I don't think it should necessarily be remade. I would just kind of like to see it. StarCraft, the original one. Right. There were some elements of that game that I just think would look so amazing based on what they've done with StarCraft 2. Well, there's actually a mod, a StarCraft 1 mod. Oh, yeah? That recreates the entire campaign. Oh, nice. On StarCraft 2's engine. Excellent. So, And even, you know, the missions where you only had, like, a squad of guys and you don't really actually build the bases mm -hmm. they like made that like a third person shooter like oh, you're sweet. raining her down <laughs> <laughs> excellent so I, I've always meant to try that I never tried it um the magic carpet series magic carpet one two I think I, I played a lot of that was a game totally ahead of its time did not get praised because it was far and beyond what anyone was doing in my opinion mm -hmm. it had like it had uh, terraforming in it, it had magic, it had a resource system, you were building your castle, like, it had everything you'd want in a first-person shooter, and you're mm -hmm. flying around on a carpet shooting meteors at people. I don't know what else you want. I'll game. say Duke Nukem 3D, because Duke Nukem Forever, I also want to not acknowledge that it exists. Right. Um, that what exists? What? <laughs> There's a new Duke Nukem? Oh, I can't remember what game it is. 
there, a game came out recently and bundled with it. If you bought this game, a copy of Duke Nukem Forever also came with it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It was one of the games that came out in the last month or so. Sniper Elite. Maybe. Really? No. It, it, it one of the new games. Okay. Um, I think that. What was I going to say? Commander Keen should be remade. <laughs> No. Oh, no. Crash I'm... Bandicoot. That's the one. <laughs> Game was fucking awesome, and I want to see a 3D, fully yeah. audio animatronic Bandicoot. <laughs> More of a console game, though. I think it was a strictly console game. It was. It was a Sony license, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Any others? I'm trying to think. Um, I really liked the Paperboy. <laughs> The universe of, uh, if anyone remembers this, uh, Fade to Black and... Um, Metallica? Flashback. Not fa- not Metallica. Fade okay. to Black. Okay. And Flashback. Okay. Where, um, and if I rem- my memory serves me correctly, Fade to Black... It was such a weird side-scroller game. It was kind of like they were too ambitious. And the same thing happened when they switched to three like a three-dimensional game in mm-hmm. Fade to Black. Where it was an over the shoulder like um, adventure game kind of shooter, and it was just like they're trying to do too much, yeah. but still, it was one of those games. It just intrigues you because it's like, did they plan for anyone to beat this game yeah. ever? You know, yeah. <laughs> it's so difficult and hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that, and again, I'm I'm, I'm going to mention actually some console games here. Like that's kind of what my older history was. Um, right. So I'm going to mention another one, Twisted Metal. Vehicle combat, I think, could look amazing, especially if you vehicles start breaking down and eventually blowing up. Right. Um, especially with new vehicle physics. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Marble Madness. <laughs> <laughs> God. There was another one I just thought of, but I am blanking now. Oh, I think... I haven't kept up with the series in a while, but if ever there was a series that could take advantage of the open-worldedness, which has to be a word... And just the beauty of the physical world, using today's engine, when it really failed to do so earlier, was Mist. Mm-hmm. Mist had you in great, grand, and wonderful open worlds. You typically were moving ahead one frame at a time. But imagine you're put on an island, and the the, the, the fundamental gameplay of Mist, solving these obscure riddles with almost no real hard clues, right? In a beautiful open world environment, I think that could be wonderful. And maybe the newer Mist games, if they've been coming out. I think, they may have... um, I think there was a Mist Four that was a yeah. lot like what you're saying, but it wasn't quite as open. It was a little bit more instanced. Hmm. Like the levels were kind of small and compact, but it was more of you're just here, solve this puzzle, and it was free motion and it was very pretty. Yeah. But it didn't feel. I felt like all the areas were a bit disjointed because basically you had a hub, and then you went to like portals, mm-hmm. and you just like were in space and then you're at it in a desert like there was no you know I just thought of two games which need to be remade one is uh, Mega Race <laughs> yeah I remember <laughs> playing that game was that with the weird announcer yes you like had to murder people on the course <laughs> yes and a biker named Ben Full Throttle Full Throttle how yes. awesome would that game oh, be man. with new graphics? I Though part the of the product. greatness of that game was... The art style. The art style. But they could take a game like Grim Fandango, which is just good writing, mm-hmm. and make it just turn up turn up the graphics a little bit. Did they remake Dig Dug and it just call it Terraria? No. Because <laughs> Terraria didn't look good either. <laughs> I want a fully photorealistic world where all you do is dig. <laughs> Minecraft. Minecraft? Yes. But real but fully realistic. Exactly. So those are just some thoughts from us. What games would you want to see remade on a new graphic system? Things that they would just look so much more beautiful now. Rainbow Six, the original. Hmm. I agree. Raven Shield, very fun game. Would look a lot better. But just a throwback to that. Hi. Original Metal Gear Solid. Also. Yeah, I think. Anyway, that's our question. What do you all think? My name is Woodsy. My name is Shepard. We are the PC Elitists, and we're signing out.